So you can see that with some tweaking with this one specific app, I made my home screen look pretty awesome. You can see apps look like this. I now got my tasks for the day here. What's up everyone, this is Alitakis Tech, and in this video I'll be showing y'all how you can customize your iPhone home screen in so many different ways. I'll be showing y'all how you can get custom widgets, you can change the app icon like so, you can see that this is settings and it opens settings. I'll also be showing y'all how to remove the status bar so you get a really clean look on your iPhone. But I'll also be showing y'all how you can completely remove the dock on your iPhone as well. So the combination of removing the dock, removing the status bar, and adding custom widgets like so using a specific application, you can do so much to your iPhone. You can see right here I have a checklist of a to-do list for the day, and I have my customized home screen layout, and I think this personally looks a lot better than just normal app icons, you know? So this will be a quick and easy tutorial. I will have timestamps down below in the uh, description. And something else I just want to mention is when you go and you actually turn on the iPhone, when you go to unlock it, because one of these tricks is actually a glitch, it makes the lock screen black. So it looks pretty cool, in my opinion. I like the way it looks. So let's get started with the video. One more thing before we do get started, I want to show y'all there are a lot of capabilities with widgets with this video that I'll be showing y'all. You can make your apps look like this. You can add cool widgets up here. So overall, pretty sick looking iPhone. Let's get started with the actual video now. So the App Store has an application called Top Widgets. Go ahead and download this app. I will leave it linked down below in the description. Once you have this application on your iPhone, your iPhone looks completely normal now, but after the video, it should look pretty sick. Okay, so here we have like a regular looking iPhone. So once you get the app Top Widgets, there's something I want to show y'all. Um, this is the home screen of the app. You can get and search by category. So if you want a clock that updates on your home screen, or if you want daily quotes, or you want pictures of your photo library, or you want the weather to be displayed on your home screen, or you want more photos, um, these are all the capabilities that this app has to offer. You can have statistics about your iPhone. You can have a tracker that tracks, you know, like a tally throughout the day that you can update. My favorite one is the to-do list. I like getting a lot of stuff done throughout the day. But my also second and third favorite one is this one right here. This one is pretty cool because it lets you change the shape of your app icons. Now on top of that, you can customize these to any app you want and you can do it for an entire home screen. So let's get started with this as an example. So let's just say this is the widget you want to install on your iPhone. Here's what you're going to want to do. These are the apps that you want to have displayed on the widget. So you're going to want to choose maybe stocks and then you're going to want to choose maybe Facebook, Twitter, and then TikTok, right? These are the apps that you want, or maybe we'll do contacts, right? These are the apps you want on your home screen. Now what you want to do is click on the transparent button. Now you're going to get a view like so. This view will be, do you want your widget to be at the top of your home screen, the center or the bottom? So we'll make this at the very top and we'll make it transparent and then we can go ahead and save this but if yours for whatever reason did not work because you just installed the app here's how you make a widget transparent and this is critical here's what you are going to want to do go to your home screen and then hold down on an app wait till it's in wiggle mode then take a screenshot when it's in dark mode and then take a screenshot when it's in light mode you can see when I hold down on these apps get back into wiggle mode this is a screenshot in dark mode and light mode. And then from here, you're going to want to go to transparency. Then you're going to want to go to dark mode. And then from here, it might take some time to load. I know my phone takes like a full 10 seconds once I select it. And I'll select my wallpaper here. And my iPhone knows that in dark mode, this is what I want. All right, now that we've done that, let's go ahead and add the widget we want. So the widget we want will be stored as a medium widget, check this out. You want to click the plus button, then you want to click top widget, then you want to scroll over, select the size you want, and the size we want for the widget we just made is the medium size widget. Then we're gonna to want to tap on our widget that we just added. Then we're gonna to want to choose a widget. We will choose the shortcut one, and you can add a blur 
or a text shadow, and for some widgets they look cool, others they don't. Now what we're going to want to do is you could do the same thing, but for other apps. So you could just keep redoing this over and over again. So you can see that with some tweaking with this one specific app, I made my home screen look pretty awesome. You can see apps look like this. I now got my tasks for the day here. And on top of that, you can just go ahead and keep adding more and more widgets. They even have cool wallpapers for you. They got recommendations on, you know, how you should lay everything out. Um, pretty awesome, pretty awesome. They've got themes as well. So if you want to have a green theme, or if you want to have a blue theme, or, you know, black and white, you know, they really go crazy with this app. I think everything looks awesome. If you want to have a black mode, this one looks sick. And on top of that, they got sick wallpapers for you as well. So definitely the go-to app to customize your iPhone. Now, if you saw in the beginning of this video, if you like the way that this looked, these are called the quick launchers. They start out as just a certain color. You can see TikTok is a black application. You could make it this color if you would like, or you could tap on the transparent feature. And pretty much every widget is this way. And you're going to want to choose the location of the widget. So pretty sick. All right, now to the good stuff. How did I make the status bar black? You can see right now it is not black. So here's what I did. Went to the settings on my iPhone. You want to click accessibilities, click per app settings, click add app, and then you want to select on home screen when you do get the option. And then for smart invert, turn that on. Now, nothing has changed. What you now want to do is go ahead and turn on dark mode. And you can see that the status bar is gone. But you will notice that if you do light mode, for example, in some applications, the status bar disappears in more white applications. So pretty cool trick. And if you want to see how to remove the dock on your iPhone, I actually have an additional video if y'all would like to check that out. So pretty cool video on how to customize your iPhone. Thank y'all so much for watching. And as always, peace.